Hey guys, today is day number 29 in the cleaning and low spin challenge. And um, as you know, if you watched yesterday's video, we've kind of stopped the challenge because everything except one thing that we purchased yesterday, or well, two things technically, that we purchased yesterday is for November. And um, so, any groceries we bought will go out of November's budget, not out of October's budget, except those things that we're using yesterday. Um, because anything else we bought yesterday, um, that's not for October, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's see. I have three things left in the cleaning challenge. I have the porch, cleaning my emails, and the recipes off my phone and starting doing my recipe binder. I am not doing recipe binder today. And the reason why is because later this afternoon we're supposed to have a video chat with Selena. So I'm not gonna do anything like that because whenever I start recipe binder, it's gonna be it's gonna take me a while. And the cleaning of the emails is probably the only thing I can do today because I can do it between other things and um I don't have to think about that really. The porch, Jeff hasn't looked at the table yet, so I probably won't be doing that. So my choices today is either the porch or cleaning the emails. I don't know which one I'm doing yet, but most likely it's gonna be cleaning the emails. So that and today's actual chore was supposed to be grocery shopping, but we did that yesterday. And the floors, which I will be doing later, and um, the outside stuff, which this time of the year we don't have much outside stuff. So we won't be doing that, and that's not just my chore, that's everybody's. So that is um, the other chore, other than today's the day for washing sheets and towels. So I will be doing that once Jeff gets out of bed. <laughs> But the main thing that I'm going to be focusing on today, well, I'm also going to do the kitchen today, but it will be after I have finished my freezer cooking. I have not made my list yet, like written it down like I want to, but I will be doing that. And I thought what I would do is bring you guys along with me while I was doing that. Um... But I'm going to, that's why I haven't made the list. But I'm going to make a list of things that I want to make out of that 10 pounds of ground beef. And I am super thinking, I'm seriously, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm seriously considering going back and buying another pack of that. It really will depend on how it cooks up. Usually from that store ground beef cooks fine it doesn't like cook away a lot so we'll see um i am going to go ahead and put some chili in the crock pot for dinner tonight just to make it easier so i was going to tell you a few things that's why i'm in the kitchen a few things that will help you during a freezer cooking day i'm not doing a massive freezer cooking day i'm just doing a simple one but some things that help me. First of all, make sure my dishwasher and dish drainer are as empty as possible, as well as my sink. Those things, as you can see, have not happened yet. Um, I have not cleaned out my dishwasher. I don't even know why I washed the dishes last night. There wasn't like a full, it was like a little over half full. But um, it could have waited. But think the, one of the reasons why that I went ahead and did it is because I knew I didn't want anything in the dishwasher. I want it to be ready for me to put all the freezer dishes in there, you know, everything that I use today. So, um, make sure you have empty dishwasher, empty dish drainer, 
empty sink. If you don't have a dishwasher, you don't have to worry about that part. Make sure that your counters are clear. Mine are not clear. Um, I have this sitting here. It's been sitting here since day before yesterday. Y'all can't see it all. But this is where I sat the mop thing since day before yesterday. I let it sit somewhere until I'm ready to use it again because they ha the things have to dry so they don't get gross. I'm going to find me a new place to put it that's not my countertop because I know I wash this stuff but it's still floor cleaner stuff so I have to sanitize thoroughly extra much <laughs> after I've done this in that area and I want to have a different place to put it so I'm gonna figure that out that's for another day I'm also gonna move like right now what's left of the haystacks and the rice krispie treats that's on the counter that I will be using mostly and what I'm planning on doing is everything on that side I'm just gonna move it I don't think I'm going to need the rest of the area. I'm going to keep this part like it is. But I'm not going to need this side, I don't think. So, I'm going to make sure that all the area I think I'm going to need is cleaned off. Make sure that your stove top is clean. Make sure that if you're using the oven, it's clean. Which I won't be using the oven today and make sure that all that's done. Now, I mentioned putting chili in the crock pot today. That's something else whenever you're doing a freezer cooking day, whether you're doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever kind of freezer cooking, unless you're doing like the type of freezer cooking, which I do sometimes, where you eat one now, save one for later, like making lazy lasagna, you cook one that night, but you make two and you put one in the freezer, that kind of situation. Or maybe you make a big huge pot of chili and half of it you have planned to put in the freezer, that kind of thing. If you're doing that, that's no different than regular cooking to me. It's just a little bit, you put an extra stuff in the pot. Um, you're doing just a little bit extra, but this is several meals that I'm gonna be doing. So since I'm doing several meals, I want to have an easy meal for dinner so I'm going to be cooking chili in the crock pot so make yourself an either something that you are freezer cooking plan that for dinner plan sandwiches plan leftovers plan something simple plan a crock pot meal something like that plan something simple um, also, instead of me taking a pack of ground beef out of the freezer like I was going to do for the chili, I'm just going to use some of the fresh ground beef. And I'm not going to consider that part of the low spin because I'm just replacing what I would have already used. Um, and actually, what I got yesterday was cheaper than anything that I own right now. <laughs> anything else that I had. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking about this and we're going to sit down at my desk and we're going to figure out freezer meals. I am thinking that I can make 10 meals out of this because I want to make, um, I mean it's 10 pounds. I should be able to make 10 meals for the three of us. So, let's go plan. Okay, so the way I'm filming this is strange I actually don't think I've ever done this before or not exactly like this my very first video was with a camera kind of over me like this and I was showing things but anyway um let me get in frame I don't know how to do it this way so I know I have 10 pounds of ground beef so I know that I want to make meatloaf so I'm gonna write that down meatloaf and I know I want to do chili but instead of me just making the ground beef for the chili I want to go ahead and put all the cans of stuff the sauce I mean this well 
seasoning, not sauce, everything together anyway. I've never done that before with chili, but I'm thinking that I would like to do that because then I could just put all of it in the crock pot and let it cook and it'd be fine. It'd be good. But I'm not gonna cook it. I'm gonna cook the ground beef, but not the other part. Cause actually all the beans are already cooked anyway. You're just letting it get happy together in the sauce. So I wanna go ahead and put that together. And I wanna brown some for spaghetti. And um, possibly lazy lasagna. I can use the one for spaghetti for that if I want to. I don't have to have it specific because I'm not going to put that together. I'm just going to brown some meat. So, um, those are the things that I know I want to do. And I think that I may want to do some... I don't, I kind of want to do meatballs, but then I kind of don't, which that's what we usually use for spaghetti. So I'm just going to put meatballs. I'll just do, see, I already, I cooked those ahead is the reason why I'm kind of iffy about that, but I'll go ahead and do the meatballs too. I'll do t um, some meatballs and then I'll just uh, make, I, I just, what would I call it? Browned beef? I don't know. I just want to brown some ground beef so um for i would use this for chili for tacos for whatever i might want to put ground beef for like uh stroganoff the which we have not bought in years until recently when i got it at darlene's the hamburger helper kind or for hamburger helper or homemade hamburger helper or hamburger soup or whatever so, I want to make at least one meatloaf. So, let's see. I have 10 pounds. And I'm going to probably do about a pound each one. And then have me like um, a hamburger patty or something. Because I will eat meatloaf, but I don't prefer meatloaf. But Jeff, I know, will really like it. So, I'm going to cook them some. So, I want to do two of those. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put with hamburger on the side for me, like, and I'm gonna ask Jeff if he wants me to do uh, meatloaf burgers or just meatloaf, because I do it both ways. And I wanna do two of those, so that's four pounds. The meatballs, I'll probably do two pounds. So that's two, four, six. And then I'll do the rest of it in the ground, uh, in like just browned up. So the other um, four pounds will be like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm doing this by pounds. And the meatloaf, we only need like a pound of it because it's not like I'm making a big meatloaf. Now, that is how I usually would do it when I'm doing a freezer meal day. I haven't shared a lot of freezer meal days where I'm just like doing different things other than breakfast stuff. I'm not doing any breakfast stuff right now. But um, I haven't shared that much. I've shared it some, but not much. But I'm going to do that with the ground beef today. And the way I recommend doing meals here, let's see, that's what it looks like. The way I would recommend it, if you were going to do multiple types of meats, multiple types of meals, is to do the list, which I probably didn't have to do a list, list today, but it will kind of help me a little bit. But have different things that you want to do. Make a make a plan before you go into it. Make sure we ha you have all of your ingredients before you start your day. Make sure that you have all of your containers that you want to store the things in. And um, before you actually start putting the things in your containers, if you're using a bowl, or a pan or something like that, have the stickers to label those or freezer tape or something like that. And if you're putting it into Ziploc bags, go ahead and label those before you start putting things in so that you can have that ready. And once I have all of this made, I will have 
10 meals that's in the freezer ready to go. But the most important thing is make sure you have space in your freezer before you even purchase anything for freezer meals. <laughs> and if you're doing like freezer breakfast, same situation. You figure out how many you want, how many days you want, things like that. Get all your ingredients and all of your stuff together before you start going and go from there. So let me get the camera moved around. So, I'm going to get my apron on. I'm going to go clean the stuff that well, put away the dishes. And there's a couple things in the dish in the sink that I need to put in the dishwasher. Noah's cup is in there. It needs to be hand washed. And I'm going to go ahead and get all my pots and pans and everything ready. Uh, my bowls, my cans of things, my crock pot for tonight's dinner. All the stuff I need, I'm going to get it out so I don't have to run back and forth to the pantry, so I don't have to run back and forth to a different cabinet, so I don't have to run back and forth to whatever. I'm taking everything out, putting it in the kitchen. Um, the only recipe I need is my recipe for meatballs because I don't remember the exact recipe, but I'm going to be using that. And I'm thinking about... Okay, you guys know I have that stuffing mix. I'm going to talk to Jeff before I do this. But I have that stuffing mix, which is just like a really, really hard crouton. Or really, it's not even as hard as a crouton. It's just a flavored bread. I'm really thinking about, in place of the um, breadcrumbs or crackers or whatever I might use in the meatloaf or and the meatballs, putting that in there instead so that I can use those things up. Um, I haven't talked to him about it yet. I think it would be a good idea. And I may do that because those things have been sitting in my pantry. Whoop. That was my chair. They have been sitting in my pantry for close to a year. They're not expired. They're not close to the Best Buy date. It's like 2023 is the Best Buy date. But I want them out of my way. Um, not because I'm afraid they're going to waste, but because they're taking up valuable real estate in my pantry that I just don't need them there. And right now, they're taking up real estate on my counter because I have that box there. So, I'm going to figure out something else I can do with those. And we'll go from there. And you will see if I use them or not. So, let me know if you've ever done something like that before. I know I've used breadcrumbs in my meatloaf and I definitely use breadcrumbs in the meatballs but I just want those things gone. I can grind them up. I have the tools. I have a very heavy marble rolling pin if I need it. All right so let's go cook. Well the morning came. You said it well. You said the bad will go but I'm feeling it still I think I need to get out of this bed And go out for a walk to clear my head I suppose that I'll be better off alone Will be just fine on my own Used to call you home But now I'm just a dress unknown
getting sure about it So hear me through I'm done with you Okay, so I have my meatball recipe and I can link this down below. I have the things I need for the meatballs and the meatloaf. I have my chili bags ready and I have a cutting board for the onion, some gloves because I'm messing with all this meat. And this is, these are things that I had in the freezer as tomato paste, tomato sauce, and then there's some pasta sauce there. I'm just gonna use that in the chili. I have this for the meatballs this to do the ground beef this is to drain certain kinds of beans because you have to rinse and drain them and that's for me to go ahead and get the chili started for our meal tonight got my can opener and Jeff has washed a load of cans and then over here he's about to get the meat separated for me and put into these things so I'm gonna get this turned on and I'm going to get my gloves on and I'm going to start going ahead and mixing, okay. mixing together all the other stuff. Okay, in this one I'm going to do the stuff for the meatballs. So Jeff is getting the um, meat ready for me, but I don't have to have it yet. So I'm doubling it, but normally, and this is my recipe, normally it'll be one egg, but I'm doubling, so... I don't know why I said it twice, but I did. One looks bigger than the other one. Okay, so I have my egg here, and now I'm going to put in the pepper. And I'm just going to grind it in there. It's supposed to be one... Uh, teaspoon but I'm just gonna do whatever we eat quite a bit of pepper you put more or less according to your own choice or your own liking or whatever do what okay yeah uh, well don't overcrowd it and then salt Italian seasoning. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the garlic powder. Jeff, I might need you to do something to this one. For whatever reason, it does not wanna turn like the other ones. It's gonna go in this. You can. Okay. And we're gonna add the meat. 
because he just did. Onion powder. And grated Parmesan cheese. It's supposed to be a third of a cup. I think that I have a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. This is about how much do you think that is? Would that be two thirds? I didn't think so. So I gotta get some more Parmesan cheese. This is a five ounce thing, so it's not even a cup, so. What is it? Meatballs. I was making. Oh, no, this is not the meatloaf. This is the meatballs. That's the meatloaf over there. Okay, so I've got all the stuff in there that I need, except the breadcrumbs, and we are going to try some of this in there because it's just bread anyway. I'm gonna have to squish it up, so I'll be right back. Okay, this is not perfectly crunched up, but that's okay. Needs to be one third cup of that in there. And then I'm gonna put some in the meatloaf. That's all I need for that, and I'll come back to that in a minute. I don't know if I need all of this, for one recipe, you need a third cup. What? No, you need one third cup for one recipe, but I'm doing two here. All right, so the meatloaf, I'm just going to put. I'll put the rest of them in there. It'll be fine. Put that. I'm going to chop up an onion. I don't have a knife. I do not have everything. What you looking for? For that? It's right there. I have everything out already. Except that it can have a knife out. I'm going to use this for my garbage bowl. Now that I have it empty. I didn't even put an apron on and I was planning on putting an apron on. Oh well, too late now and I got into it. I'll worry about it later. This is a pretty small onion, and I'll decide if I need more or not once I've got it mixed some. And if I need more, I'll cut some more up. But um, I don't know. It's just according to how big the actual onion is on the day I make it. Okay, I said I didn't need um, an apron and then I commenced to stirring the ground beef and getting 
greasy meat juice all over myself. So I went and had to change shirt or dresses, had to spray and wash the, or pre-treat that one so that the grease won't stay in. And I put on an apron. So black pepper in here because black pepper is delicious in me. Look, not everything's going to go as planned, right? Also got to remember that there's seasoning in that, um, in the, what is that stuff called? Stuffing. So we're not going to put too much of the seasoning in there. Then I'm going to put a little garlic in here. And I don't normally, but I'm very tempted to put a little garlic in that. I think I will today. Because why not? It is meatballs or um, pasta and stuff, so why not? I'm getting this out of my way. Try to put things away as you go or else it will drive you batty. I'm already getting driven batty by my own mistakes. All right, ketchup, not a ton, just some. And then, you know, whenever the day it's cooked, there will be more added. Worcestershire sauce. As little or as much as you'd like. And then egg. I use one for each pound. Another tip would be have a garbage bowl because I didn't do that in the beginning and I needed it. All right, now I'm going to put everything I don't need where it needs to be in the dishwasher, in the sink, in the refrigerator, in the wherever it needs to go, in the garbage, which I may keep this out because I may need more onions. So, all right, I'm going to sit this to the back over there because I don't need it anymore right now, and I'm going to put my pan over here for the meatballs. Now my oven is preheated to 350 and normally I would put this on parchment but I'm just going to use this little pan and the whole reason I'm using this pan today is because it was already in the dish strainer and it was already out. I've never used it before. It might be a huge mistake. We'll see. Alright. So we're going to get this mixed together. Get all the seasonings into the meat and all the cheese into there. But I'm gonna get it all mixed together and make golf ball size meatballs. About golf ball size. I mean, if you want them a little bit smaller, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But they will cook down, so you don't want them much smaller than that unless you just want small meatballs or you can make big meatballs you can make them i've seen people make them like softball size not golf ball size did i say softball or golf ball the first time i think i said golf ball i hope i did because that's what i meant just get all that seasoning mixed together because you don't want part of it to be seasoned and not the rest but you also don't want to overwork this you don't want to do too much because it will make it, it seems to make it tougher Whoop. all right I think I've got it pretty well, well mixed now I love it's incorporated it smells good so now I'm just gonna start making meatballs and if they touch, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt anything. See, that's a little bit bigger than golf ball. That one is. Oh, well. It'll shrink. This is about the size that I meant. But I'm just going to make the meatballs up. Then I'm going to put them in the oven. And then I'll start on my meatloaves. 
and um well i'll finish the meatloaf okay so i have 35 meatballs i'm gonna put them in the oven jeff is about to divide this let me get, can you open that Oh, he's gonna put a third of it into the crock pot for the today's chili a third of it into each one of these two bags for later chili so I'm gonna pull these out and I've got them labeled crock pot chili I'm gonna go ahead and put this into one now this is tomato paste so there doesn't have to be as much of it what is it I don't know. Nah. Let's put it in a colander over a bowl. Here, we'll just grab that colander that I've got out for the other. I've got all my other little bowls. Um, that way it can cool off. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into one of these. It's thawed some, but that doesn't matter. And you don't need as much tomato paste as you do tomato sauce or whatever. Or ketchup. Still a little bit in there. I have to try to fight with it later. And this is tomato sauce. I'm going to put it in another one. And then this spaghetti sauce, I'm going to put in today's. I may put some of this into that too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the chili stuff. And I'll get the meatloaf in a minute since that's already started. I'm going to have to have one of these. Some of the beans have to be drained and rinsed, so I'm about to do that with the black beans and cannellini beans, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to start with the tomatoes, and I have two cans of diced tomatoes and two cans of crushed tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is, because these are larger, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a little bit out of each can into each pot or each thing that way um i have diced and crushed in all of it and it won't be exactly even but it'll be close enough all right so i'll be back once i get all these tomatoes done Okay, so I have the tomatoes in here. Jeff has already got the beans in the pot, the uh, ones that were draining and rinsing. And now I'm gonna put in two cans of chili beans. Now what that would have been, if you just used cans of tomatoes that are this size, it'd be two cans of tomatoes. And we're putting in one can of cannellini beans, one can of kidney beans, red kidney beans and which the cannellini is white kidney beans and one can of no two cans of black beans and i brought out my handy dandy little spatula because they help a lot but there will be six cans of beans in each recipe That is why you wash your doodads because things like that happen. And it's not hard to open cans of beans and stuff. But if you're in a hurry one day and you just want to get the chili in the crock pot, all you got to do with this is just open the bag and pour it in if you have it thawed 
Or you can open the bag and tear it apart and pour it in. Done that before. With other things. Alright, now I'm going to put these two cans in the crock pot. Another good thing would be having empty garbage. What is it? Oh, okay. I thought something was wrong. Why wouldn't they? That one looks fuller than that one. Why is that? Unless I put more tomato in one than the other. Which one you want to do? Whichever one you want to do. tomato in one? I don't know either. And the last thing I'm going to put in each each one is chili powder and that's just to your own liking. We liking a lot. Right Jeffrey? whenever you make it like take it out of the freezer and all that stuff and you think you need more you can always add more all right, I'm gonna put in this one because the only thing lacking in this one back here I don't know if you don't see it is the beef I'm gonna put uh, half of this that's here in it it's not completely cooled off but it's pretty cool But I'll let it, it'll finish cooling off before we put it in the freezer. And I'm going to put some of it in this one. stage but once you put all those beans in there you can forget it
are still dripping. Oh no. Got two beans that was in my hand. Okay. That's pretty heavy. Close it up, get all the air you can out. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on here, he wants, he said to do meatloaf burgers, right? Yeah. My hand was still a little bit wet. I don't know if I'm gonna need two bags, but I think I will. All right, so I'm gonna do those. Just sit that right there. Put on my gloves. I don't think that I'm gonna need any more of the um, onion. So, but we'll see. I still have my cutting board and knife over there. Right, let me go ahead and get this mixed together. or something to put these on once I get them padded out and then I can put them in the bag with clean gloves or something or else you can put them in the bags I don't know we need to do something so I don't get the bag outside of the bag gross and put them just on the top of the stove. All right, so I got it all mixed together and now I'm just gonna make burgers out of it. Oh no, throwing it everywhere. Do I need to put this on the pan and put the food? Uh, are they cool? How cool are they? Should be hot. The meat was a little bit warm, not hot. All right, well, yeah, I would put them on a pan. That way that they'll freeze uh, without going through the little grates. You can just put that, let it sit there. I didn't want it there because the meat might get on it. burgers so I have my bags here and they're labeled and I'm not worried about a date on these things because they won't be in the freezer that long not long enough to worry about that now if I was gonna have a lot of the same thing in there I would put dates on it stir that around so it can cool a little bit more. Get all the air out that I can. Well, I can't even close that one.
All right, so now I have eight meatloaf burgers. Okay, Jeff is putting the cooked ground beef into three quart size bags so that it can have more surface area and cool down faster. I was trying to grate this cheese and it, it's doing the same thing it did whenever we used the food processor, it's just crumbling apart. So I, I'm gonna try to slice it to make the garlic toast for the um, freezer. And if it doesn't work, I guess I will just have to go buy shredded cheese because this is just so soft. This is from Sam's. I don't know what else to do. What do you Try it with this thing. Oh no, this does okay. It's not perfect. It's still trying to fall apart, but I don't know how this is gonna work because that might be too thick for garlic bread. cheesy garlic bread. I just don't think it's going to work. I should have gotten a cutting board or something. Jeff, do you think this is even going to stay on the bread? I don't think this is even going to stay on the bread. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. All right, I'm going to another plan. I'm gonna put this in this bag. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the butter and the seasoning on it. It's just gonna be garlic bread and if we wanna add cheese, we'll add it whenever we start to cook it. I usually like to add the cheese before I freeze it and it usually does really well, but this, this is not gonna work. So I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is what I would normally do before the cheese part. I get a pan to um, put the bread on so I can flash freeze it. And the butter and everything stick. Oh goodness, that's wonderful. You want a bite? <laughs> it's just, the, the heel of the bread is very, Ball. Here you can try one of these meatballs. I'll put it there if you want it. I can't use it for this. Wow, that's squished. I will. That is really squished. And this is just Texas toast. You can use whatever kind of thick bread. There's one kind we used that was what? I think it was brioche. It was a very good, I think it was brioche. And yes, I'm using margarine. I don't use it much, but I do it for this because it spreads easier. But I'm um, just gonna put the margarine on there. Then I'm gonna, um, after I do that, I'll put some of this Johnny's garlic spread on there. Whatever kind of garlic spread you want. But I'm gonna show you one of them and then I'm just gonna do them off camera. Oh goodness, I always have trouble opening this thing. Pretty good. What is? Mm -hmm. You like it with the, the um, stuff and mix? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. And usually I have um, cheese on top of that. But that's not happening today. So I'll be back whenever we're done. Okay, so that's 12 pieces from that first bag. And I'm gonna let these freeze for 30 minutes to an hour until the butter is, or the margarine is completely frozen. And the seasoning will stick to it. Then I'll put those in a Ziploc bag and I'll put wax paper between them. And over here, we have two meals of chili, which the chili um, will be more than one meal, but it's two crock pots full. Eight meatloaf burgers, three packs that I can use for like stroganoff or 
um, just whatever. It's already cooked ground beef. Like on the day they have that, I could pull this out and make me some tacos or something, which would be too much for one person, but there would be leftovers. And then we have two packs of meatballs for spaghetti. So that's 10 meals. Can Let's see. Well, it's actually more than 10 because this will feed the boys two times unless they one of them eats two and they have lunch and stuff with it too. That and that. And we have tonight's supper with leftovers. The kitchen's a bit of a mess, but we're about to get that all straightened up too. And I'll be back whenever we get that all something done to it. But uh, he's gonna put some of that in the freezer now. These right here have to cool off. The, well, these right here are cool. These could be put in there, but the meatballs have to cool off some more before we can put them in the freezer. But these are fine. Um, we just don't want to put hot meat in there. So, I'll be back. Okay, so we have the dishwasher going, and what we have still dirty is the big pan and then those bag holders and the stuff that was already in there. I'm supposed to do the kitchen today, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do that shelf. I'm just going to wipe this down, put the things back that belong there. I'm not doing this corner because of the crock pot and everything being there, but I'm going to do this side. So I'm fixing to get started on that, but after, but first, but whatever, after I get my sheets in the washer because I want those washed and dried. So I'll be back. things out and scoot it back. I'm not going to do it like I normally do and just move everything off and then do it. I'm just going to kind of, it may be harder this way, I don't know, but we shall see. Y'all know when the last time I did this was. But you see there's stuff. That's why you move things. It was not easier. It was actually harder. It was more annoying. Plus, I know I didn't wipe down all the um, canisters and all that stuff, but I, I'm just doing shortcut today. Just because it is 124 and we're supposed to talk to Selena at four. So I want to have everything done by then. And we'll sit down a minute and then I'm gonna vacuum and then I'll decide if I'm going to vacuum and mop the rest of the house. I may just do the kitchen and not the rest of the house. I don't really know. It feels like I just did it. And I know it's been two days, but it feels like I just did it. So, but I do want to back this because the 
floor is just needed. What are you cleaning up? A bean. I wonder who dropped a bean. Had to be one of us. You're the one that was pouring all the beans. I don't mean nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sit for a minute and drink me some water. Um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so plans have changed yet again. Plans are always changing around here. Um, Jeff's gonna bring the table in. And he said, if he brings the table in, he's gonna be making a big mess. Cause he's gotta drill some stuff and he's gotta do, it's gonna be sawdust and everything. So it would be a waste for me to do any of the floors in there, in the living room, whatever. So we're not doing that right now. And if we do it, I'm probably not gonna film it today because it may be after we talk to Selena. And I'm probably gonna end this video before we talk to her. But um, it's been a little bit. We went out and looked at the, ta uh, the table. He had me look at it. And he said, what was it about the sap? That this, like, whenever he put the lacquer on it. Can you explain it? It's like it's pulling the sap out or something. And there's like waves or something. But it looks kind of neat. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't look bad. It looks kind of neat. But it's on the side. So I'm just, I was going to check the bread. How long has it been in there? Okay. Well. I will show y'all the bread after it's done freezing and then I'm going to stick it in the Ziploc bags. I'll show you what it looks like and I'm just going to continue to do that garlic bread today. And I guess for the challenge, I'm just going to sit here and work on the emails, getting rid of those that I don't need because this is something that I was doing pretty good with, but I've gotten, well, I'm doing really good compared to what I have done. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I have three emails. I have one that I've had since I first ever had a computer. Well, no, since I first had internet. I got the Yahoo one. Then I got the Gmail one whenever... Um, I got my first phone from Verizon. They automatically said I had to have it. So, because of Google. Then I have one that's just for my YouTube that you guys have. For my Yahoo one, I have 607 unread messages. Some of those have been read. I just marked them as unread because I wanted to keep them. So, I'm going to go through those. For... The other Gmail that I got because of my phone, I have 871, 872, because somebody just left a comment on my video. Um, and then, that just happened. <laughs> and then I have no unread on my Yahoo, my, what, my YouTube ones. So, I'm caught up on my YouTube ones. <laughs> But that's the only one I'm caught up on. So the other two, I'm going to just go through. A lot of that is just junk mail. Like stuff I subscribe to that um, they send you a bunch of junk. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to go through and unsubscribe from some, from some stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to just work on that. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm just going to work on that. And that's going to be my challenge project for today but right now I need to change the battery in this I'm washing clothes I'm gonna see if Noah wants me to wash his bed covers and I gotta wash towels today is gonna be a little bit different because I'm probably not gonna record as long as I normally do y'all saw supper it's chilly you've seen it before I may or may not show it to you again <laughs> I do need to go check. Actually, let's go check it. My battery may die before we get it checked. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's run. Jeff's got a Coke over here. 
Oh, it's a bubbling. Look at it bubbling in there. So, I'm gonna stir that real quick. And then, um, I mean, that's what it's gonna look like, chili. But, I will uh, show y'all the table as well after he gets it put together. I'll share that today. So, I'll be back later. Okay, so here's the table with the legs on it. And down here, there are pocket hole where that, um, you had to make a, with Jeff's pocket hole jig, he made a hole to put the screws in. And then this will be filled in with a dowel rod and then smoothed off. It'll all be wood. And then that will be painted. And then there'll be another coat put on all the white parts. The top is not completely finished but anything that needs to be done to it can be done with it put together so um he went ahead and brought it in there are some things that need a little bit more work but it's pretty much finished would you say it's pretty much finished um but yeah, he's got some touch-ups and some things like that that he's going to have to do. And it'll be a little while before we can use it because it's still got to cure. But the paint part, that doesn't have to cure. But this up here has to cure. It's not wet, but it does have to harden. Is that what it's got to do? But that's what the table looks like. And we're going to have it turned that way. We used to have it turned the other way. But I think we're going to... Well, we've done not this table but different tables we've had in here we've had them turned this way we've had them turned like catty corner or whatever you want to call it crooked something we've had them turned the way it was turned before so we just decided to put it this way we may move it over do you think we should move it over this way some more that's the way it's going to look except those spots on the legs are going to be um all white and we were talking about putting some little feet things on it just to, um, what, it was to help for what? To keep the wood from chipping around the bottom on the edges because that is bare wood down there. But anyway, that's the table. Okay, so we've done our video call with Selena and we talked, what was it, about two hours almost? Close to two hours. And um, then we ate dinner because we had it in the crock pot. And Jeff is deboning chicken breast for our meal tomorrow. Um, we're gonna, I didn't know what that was, Noah laughed. We're gonna grill some chicken and um, we're gonna marinate it tonight. We had taken it out of the freezer the other day to thaw it in the refrigerator. And is it thawed? <coughs> Right ahead, it's, it's close to thawed. It's thawed enough that he can debone it. What? Yeah, I think fillet it because it's thick. These are some thick. Oh, well, they can't see because you put your hand over it. But, anyways, um, some pretty thick chicken breast. And, um, we bought these back in March. We looked at the date. So that's what seven months that they've been in the freezer we didn't even realize they had been in there that long because they had been stuck back in there and y'all remember we did the cleaning of the freezer we found two packs like that so now I'm gonna take I hate doing this because I don't like the cold but I'm gonna take the garlic bread out because it's yeah it's been ready that drawer is empty don't back up it won't burn you, but I might drop it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take the garlic bread and I'm going to put it in bag. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But I'm going to... Oh, I better move this down. We're still washing clothes. We have... Or I am or whatever. Noah did swap over a load. Um, we still have the towels to do because Noah had two loads of bed covers and stuff so what I do is just take this and I fit as many as I can 
in one layer and then I put a piece of wax paper in and then I put as many as I can in the next layer and then well I can only get four in there I guess this time I fill up the bag as much as I can and then whenever I want to have garlic bread all I've got to do is take it out of the freezer and put it in the oven just like you would if you were you know you bought it from the store already pre-made this way is cheaper and you can control how much of the garlic and everything is on there because sometimes you you get garlic bread and it's not got enough sometimes it's got too much this way you can control what you want on it and like i said earlier when i was making it i normally add cheese to it i usually add mozzarella but this time i didn't do that because i, I just couldn't I couldn't uh, get the shred properly. Let me see if I can get three layers in there. That'll be 12 pieces. And I'm still gonna go ahead tonight and I'm gonna do some more. However much I can get, I'll probably do another 12 pieces and then whatever's left of the loaf, cause it'll be like part of that one loaf. We'll just use it this week for something. So it'll be 24 pieces that I'll end up with most likely. And then if we want four pieces, we just take four out and we have already made garlic bread in the freezer ready for us whenever we want it. Okay, so I'm just gonna be done for the night because I mean, we still gotta make the bed and I still have one load of clothes to wash, which is I just told you that. And I did do another thing of the garlic toast, garlic bread, whatever you wanna call it. But I really wanna get a shower and get this video edited so we got quite a bit with the freezer cooking and all that too but I did oh I did clean up my email I think I ended up I, did, I only did one I'll worry about the other one later it took so long to do that one um I have like 50 something emails that are still on there or that are ones that I need to actually open up and look at that I can't just delete willy-nilly <laughs> The other ones I knew I could just delete. So I went from almost 700 to 50. I think that's pretty good. And I'll do the other one either next month or later on this week or whenever. But I got the email started really well. And I think that's pretty good because you need to clean your digital life as well as your physical life. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did go ahead and do all the youtube things if you didn't go ahead and do them anyway because you might like something i put out later most importantly i would like for you to leave me a comment down below i don't just say that i really do want you to leave me a comment let me know how you're doing how's the weather have a little chit chat and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet